underneath their trunks. I think the only other fighter I've seen wear something similar is my good friend, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Denaire. And I don't know if they're tights, but he wears high socks for sure. I couldn't do it. It's already hot enough under those lights, and I wouldn't want to restrict uh, just, you know, just my legs to be able to sweat and do what they need to do without any obstruction. You can see Jay Long loading up with this right hand. He's pawing with his jab, but he wants to land the backhand against Burns. The right hand. That's where his power is at. Burns doubling up that jab, testing. Right hand says Yenon, who came forward with one. I think Yangnong is a little bewildered right now because he's used to coming forward, he's used to pressing the action, and Clay Burns is taking that role at the moment, and Yangnong is just a little off balance and a little bewildered. The one thing that I like about Burns is, he, you know, he has good footwork he's using it right now but i like the fact that he moves his head you know you don't have to be you know be elusive you can you can just move your head and you, you automatically become elusive you know and that's what i like about him he's not keeping his head right in the middle off his head, off he's his giving head. a different off look head, every time he attacks Yanong had some success with two body punches moments ago and then burns came to the inside and put a right hand upstairs Six round welterweights here, Burns and Yenong end of one. Joe Tim and Dre calling the action from the MGM Grand Conference Center in Las Vegas. Top rank boxing on ESPN. You can see all the social distancing spacing among the support staff, the officials, our staff, and the top rank staff there in Vegas. What a month of fights it has been just to get the sport back up and going. And as it has, remember, a lot of gyms weren't open during the months of quarantine. It was hard to get sparring, fighters who can't travel internationally. So that offers the opportunity to fill out cards with guys you wouldn't normally see, see or wouldn't normally associate with the top-ranked brand. And we've been enjoying that so far tonight before we work our way to a prize prospect who's undefeated at 14-0, Orlando Gonzalez. An excellent co-feature between Avery Sparrow and the unbeaten Abraham Nova. And then Jason Maloney, the Maloney twin. Jason Maloney against Leonardo Baez. That is the main event and a critical fight for the Maloney brothers with everything that's happened this week with that family. Andrew fought and lost his title on Tuesday night. That's why it's important as a fighter to learn to do multiple things because you'll see Ye Nang look like a world beater when he has the opportunity to come forward and generate power with that right hand. But when Clay Burns attacks him, all of a sudden he looks ordinary. He's not the same fighter when he's fighting off the back foot. In the tape I watch, Ye Nong is normally busier, you know, but when we asked him in the fighter meetings, he said that I only had 10 rounds of sparring. So he has to be pacing himself right now, gentlemen. I'm not sure it's that, Tim. This is a six-round fight. I just think that Clay Burns is giving him so many different looks. One minute, Clay Burns is attacking. Next minute, Clay Burns is fighting off of his back foot. The next minute, Clay Burns is fighting on the inside. I just think he has Ye Nang bewildered, and Ye Nang cannot get comfortable like he normally is. You got to pace like yourself they, for a six-round fight. Ye Nong is... We've got some trouble. Yeah, but it looks like Ye Nong is, is taking the page out of Burns' book. He's starting to move his head from side to side. Watch the head. Watch it. Stop! Break clean. Break clean. There you go. Fighters, we typically, sometimes fighters do that. You know, we, we, you know, if you throw a body shot, you land a body shot on us, we'll, we'll, it's like copycat. We'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll try to land a body shot on you, the same punch that you landed on us. Go, Burns. <laughs> 
Yedong has thrown over 115 punches so far to this point in the fight. You know, we constantly talk about the procedures and protocols that top rank and Nevada State Commission have put forth for this. For Bernardo, there are some tweaks. The, in recent weeks, we have had fights that have been taken off of bout sheets based on contact tracing. And everybody's going through this. And top rank boxing, I mean, you see and you think about where baseball is, where the NBA is, the plans for college football in the NFL. And then you see what Top Rank was able to pull off in doing two shows a week with this bubble. But there are things to learn and courses to take, and that is the recent change. Fellas, I love the fight so far for Clay Burns. I mean, he's not super polished, but he's doing a great job, and it's effective for him. I mean, he's fighting on the outside. He'll take... Uh, Ye Nang on a walk around the block just like he's doing right now to assess the target and see what he wants to do and then he'll jab next minute he'll sneak attack Ye Nang and Ye Nang will be in a dog fight before he realizes it he's just giving Ye Nang so many different looks he cannot get comfortable listen if you don't let Ye Nang if you don't cooperate with Ye Nang and stay in front of him he's useless because he doesn't know how to fight off his back foot or move to the side and do these things that Dre just mentioned that Burns is doing. All he knows is one thing, fight. Now Clay Burns is giving him a southpaw look. Now he's left-handed. And Ye Nang is thinking, what is he doing that was not in the scouting report? Clay Burns who joined the Marine Corps in I know what he's doing. And a tour of Iraq. I know exactly what he's doing. He's lining himself up for the right hand of Ye Nong, and that's his power punch. Ye Nong's power is negated when he's going backwards. Just like he's going back right now. Too much of that is going on. And going straight back doesn't help as well as Burns is able to connect. See, he's throwing the big right hand to me. He's just not landing it. Oh, he's not landing it. But when you turn southpaw, you're giving him an opportunity to land it. Snaps back his head that time with that sweeping left hand. End of three. <laughs> Ye Nang landed 18 power punches. Tim, it included the left hand that closed out the round. Yeah, Clay Burns is unsure if he wants to be southpaw or he wants to be orthodox right here. He's caught in a cross position and pulling straight back. See the right hand down of his. And what did Ye Nang do? He followed him out with the left hook. Great shot by Ye Nong. Nice uppercut by Burns. You know, when you have a fighter that just comes straight in like Ye Nong, if you get your head up off the line and shoot the uppercut, that's a great weapon and a great trap you can set on him. Also, the check hook is also another shot that you can use when you have a fighter that comes straight in, like Ye Nong. Good work from Clay Burns here over the last 30 seconds. Body shots and head shots. Right-handed and southpaw. He's doing it all right now. Yeah, and he's receiving some body shots right now from Ye Nong. Anytime Clay Burns want to relax, Ye Nong comes on strong. I think Clay Burns knows exactly what he's doing. When he wants to rest, he allows Ye Nong to come on. And Ye Nong's going to land some shots. I mean, this is boxing. 
but he's not landing the type of shots that he wants to land. And as soon as Clay Burns gets ready, he starts to hit Ye Nam all over again. Yeah, you know, Burns is doing it in two parts. He's standing on the outside making Ye Nong miss and then making him pay occasionally. And then you see him march forward with combinations and put Ye Nong on his back foot. Watch the hands. Watch this. Don't push him he down. turned softball right there. And he was hit with two straight right hands from Ye Nong. Burns needs to stay orthodox. Oh, big right hand came in as well. And there's another one that split the guard. Body punch, left hook, as Burns continues to get right into the pocket, and then they tie up. Watch the head coming in. Come on, let's go. Watch the head, watch the head. Stop! Come on, break clean, break clean. Another night of top-ranked boxing on ESPN, and then bonus night. Saturday night from Mexico City, the WBC tonight against Sparrow. That is our co-feature. Dre, I know you're very high on Abraham Nova and where he could be headed in his career. Yeah, he's got good pedigree, and like I said in the beginning of the show, he's just right there. I don't know if it's a year away, eight months away, but he's very, very close to you know, a world title shot, which is something he's worked for his whole professional career. But he's got to be careful because these kind of fights tonight against Avery Sparrow, they can be trap fights if Nova is not on point. Round five here, scheduled for six, Burns and Yenon. Yenon has a 71 to 64 connect advantage, according to CompuBox. Now you see Ye Nam having more success because he's doing what he likes to do. Burns is giving up ground and he's allowing Ye Nam to have success. It looks like Burns is starting to fade a little bit and that's also contributing to how or why Ye Nam is having some success. There's opportunities in there for Burns to make Ye Nam pay. You know, it's called catch and shoot. You know, you can block some of those wide shots and come in between those punches okay. Break. to Break land clean. your own shots. There you go. Come on, let him go. Let him go. Work inside. Break! Yay Nine is the type of fighter that's dangerous until the final bell. <laughs> Three punch combination, left hand went to the body to close it, and then a right hand scored up top right there. Break! You can see when the fighter starts having success. You can see the adrenaline pumping through the veins right now of Yenong. He knows he's on top right now. He looked tired in the last round, and now he's energized. Watch that shoulder. Ye Nong has made the adjustment. He knows what he needs to do now. Now I'm looking for Burns to make an adjustment. Burns is doing his best work when he was moving forward. That body shot right there, that hurt Ye Nong. Yes, it did. That bagged him up. You see how he bagged up? He Burns got hit with a shot too, Tim. Break! Oh, yeah. Break clean, break clean. Here we go. Tom. Hey, now got the better of that exchange to that right hand to the bottom. Head, okay, let's go. Six and final round. Raymond Yenon trying to get himself a good quality spotlight win on TV. Young man turned pro at 19 years old, like many Filipino fighters, of course, saying Manny Pacquiao was the inspiration using boxing as a way to get out and up. 
This is the fourth time that he's fought outside of the Philippines. Fought in Macau, China, fought in Japan, and then earlier this year, stateside. You see the they Ye Nung, excuse me, you see Ye Nung missing badly, but you don't see Burns making him pay. Every time you're making your opponent miss, you have to make them pay. Right, Clayton, come on, last round, let's go. Yeah, I think Clay Burns is just gassed right now, Tim. I, I think he sees openings. He just doesn't have the energy to let the shot go. And that's well, a clear Yang sign. Yang right ain't there. worried about that. You see what Yang Nong is doing. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's taking full advantage. Stop. Hey, let me you. you gotta stop bullying. Okay, watch your head. You know, no matter how tired you are in the ring, you know, it just depends on your heart and how bad you're going. It. You know, that's what it boils down to. Ye Nong is tired as well. But he wants it. He seems like he wants it more. That's what Burns has to do right there. When you're fatigued as a, you know, as a fighter, especially late in a fight, and I know this is only a six-rounder, but you can't throw hard. You got to get smart. You got to just get the shots in there for points. Don't try to load up. Just get the shots in there and try to pile up points. Burns is doing that in spots, and then he'll go back to trying to load up, and then Ye now takes the, takes the play from him all over again. like we saw in the first fight where we had we eBay switching his stance constantly. You don't have to do that, gentlemen. Be in, a, be in an orthodox stance if you want to be in one. Be in a southpaw stance, but don't switch directly in front of your opponent. Six full rounds, a lot of action throughout.